So following on from the feedback from the NMR videos, and thanks very much for what you said, really, really helpful for me. I've decided to do a similar sort of thing, but for buffer solutions. Another topic that's not massively liked. So this is the first one. So like before, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so go through the answers. So the first thing I'm going to say is the key component of a buffer is a weak acid and a conjugate base. So from the glycolic acid, we've got a weak acid. And from the glycolate ion, we've got the conjugate base. So if we've got these two species in solution, we've got this equilibrium established. So how does it act as a buffer solution? Well, if you add some acid, a small amount of acid, you're obviously increasing the H plus ion uh, concentration. So this reservoir of weak base, so in the case of this buffer, it would be the glycolate ions. They can accept the extra H plus ions and send the equilibrium over to the left hand side. If you added a small amount of alkali, so if you had a small amount of hydroxide ions, that's going to lower the H plus concentration. And so the reservoir of weak acid will dissociate more and replace the lost H plus ions. So the upshot of both of those processes is that the pH remains roughly the same. So if we move on to the second bullet point now, so we've got to explain how this buffer can be prepared from ammonia and glycolic acid. So remember, we're after the glycolic acid and the glycolate ions being present in the same solution. So the way you do that is you would take an excess of the acid and neutralize it, obviously partially with the ammonia. So at the end of that process, you would still have some glycolic acid left but you would also have some glycolate ions. So you can see from the equation, if you've got an excess of the glycolic acid, obviously at the end of that reaction, you would still have the glycolic acid left. So there's one of your key components, but you'd also have the glycolate ion, and that's your other key component.